order to chaos. That's what ironing is all about. Wrinkles are chaos, ironing is order. All right, we're gonna do some ironing. I have my iron. My iron is uh, full of water. It's set at maximum steam setting and all the way up uh, temperature wise. And it's a great ironing board because uh, it's very adjustable. I can set it at exactly the right height, which is about waist height. I'll start with the collar, right? So we lay the shirt down flat like this. I've got the collar flattened out like that. Take the iron and I just press out the collar, just like that. Then I take the, the shirt and I turn the collar over. Hit it with the iron again. Nice and smooth with the iron, some gentle pressure. Now we move on to the front parts of the shirt. So you take the, the, the shirt and you stretch it a little bit. Starting here with the seam, just kind of work your way across with the iron. Nice, smooth, easy strokes, applying really uniform pressure to the shirt. The point of the iron goes in between the buttons. Okay, so you move over to the other side now. Same thing, start with the seam the side seam and come across. The shirt has a little placket along here, right? And you wanna be able to get underneath in there. You can neatly fit the iron, the edge of the iron right in there and go across the placket on its own. Okay, so then I usually do the back. The center of the collar right up here is in the middle of the point at the top of the ironing board. You find a seam and you work your way down from the seam to the bottom of the shirt. Maybe on a scale of one to 10, I'm coming across with about a three if I get down here to a hard wrinkle, I maybe take it to a five or a six. We have to just scooch it a little bit to get the rest of the back in. Find the seam on the side, and I'm gonna line that up with the edge of the ironing board. Working your way toward the seam, just working those wrinkles out. I'm gonna use the other side of the board now, same thing, the edge on the other side of the board. What a lot of people forget or sometimes overlook, it's this section of the shirt in the back here and again, kind of working my way across, working my way across. Flip it around. And do the other side. Okay, so that section's done. Now we're gonna do the sleeves, right? Try to get it so that the seam is right on the bottom. There's no extra material, so you don't have that flipped over. All right, so same drill, start in the middle, kind of work your way out to the, to the seam. I'm using the point of the iron to get into these little hard to reach places. I'm gonna flip it over, do the other side. So what you wanna do is you definitely wanna pull out gently to the crease like that, just kinda of flick at it. And then to just sort of cap everything off, I like to iron the cuff, hit it with the iron at the end, and just kinda of work your way around like this. See that? Roll it, we go to the other side, you essentially just repeat the process. Finishing up, and we, are done. That is a perfectly ironed shirt. Beautiful.